Welcome back to another clay tutorial. Today we are going to create this miniature scenery from Pikmin. I've seen a few comments now about creating something from Pikmin, so I think it's about time I create this video. I wanted to create this miniature scenery that sort of shows aspects of all three Pikmin games. I've recently been playing Pikmin a lot, all three of them, so I think I have a decent understanding of what the Pikmin games look like. I think I would want to make some more Pikmin things though, and maybe the boss battles. Let me know in the comments guys what you would like me to create, and I can see what I can do. I wanted this creation to contain maybe not all of, but a lot of their abilities, sort of showing them off. And I also wanted to be without enemies, sort of just the Pikmin enjoying their day, just doing the normal Pikmin stuff. So here we're going to start creating this pond here, and this is going to be for the blue Pikmin. Throughout the video I'll kind of tell you what all the different Pikmin can do if you're not familiar with it. So the blue Pikmin, his special ability is that he's the only Pikmin that can go inside of the water, which can make it very useful in certain bosses or certain areas. And I know the water looks kind of boring and bland just being this one color, but we're going to put this Fimo liquid gel on top of it, and after baking it's going to look much more like water. Maybe in the corner here we can add a few rocks for some more detail. I think that the dotting with this big ball actually works really good for making it look more like a realistic rock. Here we're going to map out this little path that maybe the Pikmin can interact with or something like that. I really didn't have a plan of what I wanted to do with this thing until I just started creating it and the ideas just kind of came in as I started making it. So this is going to be a cave and Pikmin 2 revolves a lot around going in these caves and it's a very fun aspect but it gets a little bit repetitive after a while and it kind of makes you not want to do it because in the other Pikmin games everything's above ground. But in this one, it's these tunnels that you go through and there's different floors and they're kind of pretty similar between all of the tunnels you go in and they take a really long time to beat. Like some of them take over an hour. So it's kind of a long time to sit there and not be able to save your progress. But anyway, inside of these tunnels, you can find a certain Pikmin, which is, if you're familiar with the Pikmin games, you've probably seen these enemies called Bulborbs. They look like little mushroom guys, kind of. And these are sort of the main enemies in the game. You see a lot of them. So somehow these mix together with Pikmin down inside of these caves. So you can find a Bulbamin. And they actually have the ability of every single Pikmin thrown together inside of one. So they're completely superior to everything else. But the only downfall is you can only use them in the caves. So it is helpful while you're in there, but it kind of sucks you can't take them out. But I'm going to create one of those later and put them inside of that cave. Here I had a pretty cool idea for making the path. I wanted it to look a little bit sandy and beaten down on the sides. So I know it looks really messy, but we'll just cover the path up with some more brown and that will cover up all of the messy parts. I think this is actually looking pretty nice so far. And if you notice, the grass is sort of boring too, it's just a plain green color, so we'll add in some other colors of green to that to give it some more texture and a better look. Now these little patches, I thought I would do something like, just maybe have some Pikmin sit on top of it. So as you can see here, the grass is looking a lot better, a lot more texture and detail to it. So let's put that to the side and start creating our Pikmin. First we have the yellow Pikmin. So in the first game, this Pikmin has the ability to carry bombs, and that's his only ability. He can also throw a lot higher than other Pikmin though too. But in Pikmin 2 and 3, this Pikmin is allowed to break down electrical fences and do other things with electricity. And actually in Pikmin 2 and 3, any Pikmin can pick up bombs. So they kind of took that ability away, but he can still jump really high in those games. It was pretty funny creating this guy. I wanted to make as much detail as I could to make him look like Pikmin, but also not go too crazy because it's just so tiny. This little guy is like the size of my fingernail, so it's really hard to get all of these details in there. Here I'm making a little tubey so that the blue Pikmin can be floating on the water. Although he can swim, I thought it would be kind of cool. 
And these, this little tablet thing, you bring those back to sprout more Pikmin. So the white Pikmin can go into poison, and he's also much faster. The red Pikmin can go into fire, the pink Pikmin can fly, and the purple Pikmin can carry 10 times his weight, so he can carry 10 times what another Pikmin can carry, which makes it really nice for carrying heavy things, like things that take over 10. Some things even take 100, and in Pikmin 2, some things take over 100. Now here's the little Bulbamin I was talking about. This guy's kind of creepy, but well, yeah, so are the enemies. Oh, and for our final Pikmin here, I almost forgot about this guy. This is the Rock Pikmin. You can throw him at different things, and he does a lot of damage because he's a rock, but he can also break through crystals, which makes unlocking di new different areas possible and things like that. There's certain enemies that are also made of crystals that you have to use this guy on. Now we're going to create the leaves for all of their heads. And now our Pikmin are ready to get baked. But first, let's use some of this Fimo liquid clay. I almost forgot about this. You put this gel stuff in here, and after baking, it turns... Well, it turns solid, but it turns a lot more see-through than this. You'll be able to see the blue through it much better. So now, we are ready to get baked. After baking, we can take everything off of the tray and we can start doing some super gluing. I had to use pliers for this because it's just so tiny. I knew that I was going to stick my hands to these and just get so messy with the glue. So here's all of our guys with the leaves on their heads. First we'll have our blue guy playing in the water, our creepy guy here in the cave. And now, Kind of in memory of the first Pikmin game, I wanted to do the explosion effect from using a bomb on the wall. Now if you don't call your Pikmin away fast enough after they drop the bomb, they themselves blow up and you lose that Pikmin, so I thought it'd be kind of cool to have him blowing away in this dust cloud from the explosion. These guys will be helping each other out to carry home this tablet. And although the purple one doesn't really need help to carry this fruit, I thought it'd be kind of cool to have the pink one helping him out. And here it is guys, a miniature Pikmin scenery. I really hope you guys enjoyed this video, and if you did, don't forget to leave a like and maybe even consider subscribing, and I will see you all in the next video.